hi guys welcome back to yet another video it's diana again here well i hope you're inspired by this video today i'm here to talk about we have talked about the character esther we have talked about Haman. now today i want to talk about mordecai mordecai in particular well when are you a mordecai <laughs> in this life are you going through what mordecai was going through well, Mordecai in the book of Esther was the uncle. He was the cousin. He was Esther's cousin in the Bible. So Mordecai was, was a leader. He was chosen as a leader by default. One of those people that are leaders by default because you see that from the time that Esther became an orphan, he takes up that position of being her father despite being her cousin he decided to raise her like his own and then when the king announced that they're looking for concubines to become the queen um mordecai chose esther as the one who was fit for that position he was always looking out for esther he was always making sure that she has a good life he was making sure that she doesn't feel he filled that void. He was a father figure to Esther, despite her being an orphan. So by default, he was a leader. Even when she went to the quarters where the concubines used to be kept, he kept on monitoring and following up to know what the progress is. And when Esther was appointed queen, he came, he came in and he started serving in the kingdom. And he made sure that he was sorry he made sure that he was looking out for esther's well-being and even when um when haman was appointed a prince he didn't see him fit because of his discernment he had discernment everyone bowed down to haman except him because he did not feel like haman was a fit was fit to be a leader so he did not bow down to him and we see that throughout the story Haman is speaking on Mordecai but guess what Mordecai did not lift a finger Mordecai did not react Mordecai did not use did not think with his feelings because in the normal circumstances if someone is following you up that closely you will lose it but he decided to stay calm and wait unto the Lord to see what the Lord will do for him. So um, what I'm trying to say is if you're going through what Mordecai is going through, you're being picked on. Sometimes you've not done anything, but you feel like all odds are against you. You feel like everything and everyone and anything around you is against you. You shouldn't react in the moment. Instead, trust the Lord, count on to the Lord and and wait unto the Lord because he's always looking out for us. This is a man that was going to be ex executed. He was going to be executed, but he managed to save a whole nation. He managed to save a whole tribe. He managed to save a whole a whole tribe, the Jews. He managed to save them despite the fact that Haman was picking on him for nothing. Despite the fact that he was serving in the in the palace and he had not yet even been rewarded but he kept his cool god kept fighting for him kept fighting for him so what you have to do go on your knees fight your battles on your knees because when we look at the story the jews did not fight back verbally they did not try to sabotage Haman's plans no what they did they fasted for three days they fasted for three days so that they can gain god's favor and when God's favor was raining on them, no one could say no to them. No one could say no to them. Even the king was on their side. The king chose the Jews. The king decided to protect the Jews against his own people. Yeah? Because they decided to fight their battles on their knees. No matter what you're going through, no matter what someone wishes upon you, go on your knees. It is always advisable to go on your knees. Keep your mouth shut. Do not fight back. It's not an eye for an eye. Mordecai was silent throughout. He followed instructions. And God's 
favor on Esther. Yeah? The help that he rendered Esther, the father figure that he was in Esther's life, he was able to tap into Esther's anointing and it saved the whole generation. It saved it saved the whole tribe. Yeah. So cast your burdens unto God. Pray. Fast. Be good. Know when to speak. Yeah. Know when to speak. Know what battles to choose. Yeah. Know. Ask for the spirit of discernment. You know when to keep silent. You know when your God is um, fighting for you. Learn how to trust God. Learn how to put all your trust in God. And everything shall work out for the good of those who trust in the Lord. Cast all your burdens unto him. And you will be a Mordecai. God will fight for you without you lifting a finger. God will help you without you lifting a finger. God will silence your hands without you lifting a finger. Just be like Mordecai. Yeah? Fight your battles on your knees. Do not pick fights where it is not necessary. And everything will work out for you. And whenever you're praying, guys... According to the book of Esther, ask for the Esther anointing. Ask God to fight those fighting you. Ask God for the Mordecai anointing. Whether you're a girl, whether you're a boy, it doesn't matter. Anointing is anointing. Ask for God's favor. Yeah, tap into that anointing, tap into that favor, and everything will work out good for you. Be it in your everyday life, be it in your work life, be it in your relationships your friendships your your institutions whatever it is that is going on in your life just learn how to surrender everything to god this book teaches us that fasting fasting is a very great weapon when you're fighting any battles in your life they fasted for three days number three is a very significant number in the bible they fasted for three days yeah they fasted for three days and the favor of god was raining upon them and that is how they managed to conquer their battles otherwise i hope you're blessed i hope you're fine god bless you have a good day and bye